Hi everyone, haven't done a video for a while, so just sort of give you a rundown on the hydroponics here and how we're going. Um, it's pretty cool here today, the sun's trying to get out. It was clear skies this morning, but it's only about 18 degrees here. Just waiting for the weather to come warm. But I'll show you the systems anyhow and what we're up to. Haven't done a video in a while. Um, yeah, so we'll just start here. You can follow me also on um, on my Facebook group, Solar Hydroponic Gardening for Beginners. That's also the name for my YouTube channel. Um, so I'll just give you a run through everything here. We're just getting started this year. This is red uh, cabbages here. And you can see the red cabbages. They've got large leaves on them. And you can see they're just starting to crop inside each one as they're going. And uh, they're going really, really well. If you're wondering what the brown stuff is underneath, this is just uh, coffee grounds. So we're just trying to control snails here. You come around here and you can see these are the tomatoes along here. These are gross leaning, I think they're called. These ones up the back here. This one here, this is called a corn dog. This has a stays small and has a loads and loads of yellow tomatoes on it. You can see it's grown really, really well and lots of flowers coming on it. This is a large variety tomato, this one here. And um, you can see all the flowers coming on that. It's going really, really well. So if you come along here, you can see here the capsicums uh, going really well. And some, some, getting a bit of trouble with the um, snails biting them, but uh, eating them. Just we have the coffee there. Um, so yeah, there you go. Yeah, it's all different colours in there. So I'll just show you here. Let's get the nutrients stick out of the way. I'll show you inside here. This is all kung kong growing in here. And um, these are only a few days old and you can see that they've taken off and they're starting to get leaves. If you look underneath, you can see all the roots coming. So that's going really well. Put the lid back on. Keep it warm in there. And it's only got water in there at the moment. So if we run along here, uh, the cabbages are going good. We'll come along over here. This is standalone bucket here. And we use the nutrients out of the Dutch buckets and put some other standalone um, buckets as well. So we just put it into here. So these are just um, drain to waste buckets. You can see this plant here. This is a uh, passion fruit, banana passion fruit it's called. So it's like a long variety um, passion fruit. And um, that's just starting to take off. This is just in cocoa peat. And if we come along to the next one, this is the um, floating raft system in here and that's just got a water and these are just floating on the top as you can see when i move them over here this is all celery here that's all growing well and at the back we've got kale and here we've got spinach and here we've got some uh, uh, spring onions they're all going really well everything's happy in there growing it's only a small system that runs on solar power the same with the dutch buckets and the same with the nft system which i'll show in a sec uh, this is a standalone bucket here also and you can see here this is a tangelo we've had this two years now you can see there's lots of flowers on it and there's lots of fruit coming on it you can see here now and there's more fruit over here there's more fruit down in here and this plant's grown so well you can see there's all these branches coming out on it now so it's quite happy in this bucket the bucket's full of cocoa peat and a mixture of uh, clay balls also so it's going really well the next standalone bucket here, it is this one here. This one here, this is um, a musket grape and it stays dormant a whole of winter. So it just stays as a stick. So you trim it right back. And now it's just had a few days of hot days, a couple of days ago. You can see now it's just all, all starting to come out. There's all little branches everywhere. So this year we should get a load of um, grapes on that. So we just got to make sure we keep up with the watering as it's not automatic, it's all done by hand. Down the bottom here, this is um, iceberg lettuce in this bucket here. They're just in um, uh, cocoa peat as well. And we got, usually grow a lot of iceberg lettuce here. Uh, the next one are now, this one here. This is standalone, this is also in cocoa peat. This is a kaffir lime leaf. You can see kaffir lime leaves, they have double leaves on them. Like that, they grow like that with a double leaf. They're very, very tasty in um, Asian meals, so we use a lot of that here also. The next one here is a choco plant, which we put in here, and it's just grown nuts. You can see it's growing really, really quick. In the back of it, there's also a, uh, an avocado. We've got 
Um, it takes ages for him to grow, but uh, yeah, we'll have to take him out soon because uh, it's getting pretty, pretty busy in there. We'll get a lot of chokers off that. This is the next standalone bucket. <clears throat> and um, a while ago, we had a honeydew melon. We put all the seeds in here and all these plants all started coming up. So we've put a few in the uh, NFT so far and there's a few more still in here. So I'll be eating a lot of uh, melon. And uh, over here, this one here, this is a cuke. They're the small little um, cucumbers. You can just pull them off and eat them like a snack. And at the back there, that's the chili plant. And over here, this is the eggplant. And the eggplant, that's the big fat one. So we grow normally the skinny one, but I'm gonna give the fat one a go this year. So yeah, all of these. And this here, you can see these here. These are all standalone, so we just use the water out of the buckets also. Up the top here, we've got rosemary. This also is another corn dog, so there's a lot of yellow little tomatoes on it. We've got sweet basil here. Coming down to the next one in the back here, we've got some uh, turmeric and we've got ginger growing in there. And we've got celery in the back. Here we've got strawberries and strawberries all along the bottom. As you know with strawberries, you can't really put them in NFT systems as we've tried. Um, they just don't like too much water and uh, then slowly die off. But uh, these are all just in cocoa peat. We just need to keep water, keep up with the water. Uh, this is a Thai basil here, a celery here, and another celery here. So yeah, they're all happy and uh, going well. These are the two solar panels that we're using. There's 150 watt and 170 watt solar panels. So we combine those uh, with this here with this power tech. This power tech, this is uh, 30 amp. It's got a huge heat, heat sink on the back of it, this one. It's an MPPT 30 amp. This also is a 30 amp uh, timer. And down the bottom under this bucket down here is a 100 amp deep cycle battery. So the timer turns on, it can turn up to 30 times a day, this one here. And it turns on and runs five minutes every half an hour for 12 hours a day. And uh, yeah, so you can see in the system here, we've got some cucumbers and we've also got some melons uh, running along here. You can see they're in every second one at the moment and we've got a lot more plants coming and over here we've got a tomato plant and on the other side let's go around i'll show you over here these are some more cucumbers running along here and they're going really well and then we got over here we got some uh, coriander it's quite cold for it at the moment and you can see down here underneath the system um, there's two drains coming in to the reservoir it's a 150 litre reservoir and there's two drains and you can see here this is a little fine filter mesh that comes back in for both sides so it strains the water as it goes in so you just pull them out and give them a wash and you can see the two drains they come up to these up here to show you underneath these two filters here there's one here and there's one on the other side i've made and i'll just show you on the top there's two handles there's one on each side and with these handles I can just wind it up and down and that adjusts the water level in there up and down so I can get it level so it's just touching the bottom of the uh, net pipes so if your system's a little tiny bit out of being level you don't want more water pouring out one and not the other so to level them up we just adjust them with these now with these here you can see the two pipes running back down to the reservoir these here they just screw off here you can take this little piece here to come straight off the top take it out the bottom and you can take it out the filter you can clean it give it a hose hose out screw it back on again put the tap handle back on so there you go you can see them on my um, DIY page Alan's DIY projects how I built those so there you go guys it's turned on the system's just turned on now you can see when it's on little light comes on so when I'm in the house I can see when everything's running uh, you can see it here the water gets pumped up and you can see it squirting through there. There's one squirting hole for each one. And all the luchas keep all the light out. This holds 120 plants and um, it'll be full soon. As over here, we grow a lot of kong kong. And here's some kong kong in this here. This is just full of water in the bottom. And uh, this is coca peat in here. And you can see them all there starting to germinate now. And over here, this is uh, Indonesian spinach uh, called Bayer and also Indonesian uh, basil basil in here so yeah we've got a lot of that that'll be going into the system very soon too 
So you go, the system runs very quiet as it's on now. You can see it running in there. But it's very, very quiet as all the systems are. I only use submersible pumps here. The systems, um, they're not connected to the house whatsoever. There's no backup. And they run perfectly all year round through winter, even on cloudy days. So there you go, guys. That's everything to show you for now. And um, yeah, as things grow, I'll do some more videos. Thanks for watching. Cheers.